A night of tributes and remembered triumphs at Portman Road as Ipswich celebrated the life of a man who made their club a force at home and in Europe. Outside the ground, flowers, scarves and shirts piled up from late morning as news of Sir Bobby Robson's passing filtered through. Bobby Robson was the best of men um, and the greatest of managers and just means the world to us. He was my hero in the 70s, so it's very, very sad today. But at least now he's free from pain. Books of condolence were opened up and at 3pm the club laid a wreath by his statue. Current manager Roy Keane joined Ipswich officials in a silent tribute to the coach who brought UEFA and FA Cups to Suffolk. I was his first uh, signing as a 15-year-old when he came from Fulham. And uh, the, the first day I met him, I knew I was going to get on with the guy because he's like a father figure to me. He also had a continental outlook. And having won honours at Barcelona, it was apt that a Spanish side by Adolid should provide the friendly opposition. Apt too that having brought the first Dutch player to the club, it was a Dutchman, Pim Balkestein, who drew them level. Two goals from Connor Wickham sealed the victory, although this was a night when results were the last thing on anyone's mind. I think it was nice that we had a game tonight. It was an opportunity for our supporters, obviously, and, and uh, myself and the staff and the players to pay tributes to Sir Bobby. So uh, that was nice and uh, hopefully a fitting tribute in terms of our performance. And, uh, you know, as I said, it was a chance for our supporters to show respect to, to Sir Bobby. If this is a loss that's being mourned across the football world, here they'll always think of him as their manager. Craig Slater, Sky Sports.